the Seven Gorge Countryside Trust is a charitable trust. We were set up in 1991 um, and our main aims are to promote, protect and conserve the wonderful landscape of the Ironbridge Gorge World Heritage Site. We manage just over half of the land within the Ironbridge Gorge World Heritage Site. Uh, we manage this very much in partnership with a lot of other local organisations including uh, the Ironbridge Gorge Museum Trust and also Telford Reekin Council, the local parishes and very importantly local people who, who are really important to the work of the, of the Trust. One really unique aspect of our land is that we offer free access in perpetuity over the whole of the land holding. So if you haven't been to the Ironbridge Gorge World Heritage Site before, why not come up and visit one of the fabulous museums, stay over in one of the really fantastic hotels or bed and breakfast, and then go and walk wherever you like throughout our wonderful land holding. The Trust looks after 260 hectares, half it is in the Ironbridge Gorge World Heritage Site. In the gorge we look after woodland, traditional hay meadows, heathland, pond and uh, riparian zones as well. We also have to deal with a lot of reactive works which is, comes in terms of fallen trees, dangerous trees, escaped sheep, road issues, so they take up quite a lot of our time looking after those as well. The Ironbridge Gorge is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. The reason for this is the world's first cast iron bridge. Organisations such as the Seven Gorge Countryside Trust and the Ironbridge Gorge Museum Trust work in partnership to protect the unique industrial heritage of the area. To find out more about this, we talk to Anna Brennan, who is the CEO of the Museum Trust. We're an educational and heritage conservation charity. We're one of the largest independent museums in the world and uh, we're based here within the Ironbridge Gorge World Heritage Site. We have 10 museums as well as um, 36 listed buildings and scheduled ancient monuments. We have over half a million visitors a year and of those we have about 70,000 of those visitors are school children, um, which is part of our educational ethos. Uh, we have a long-standing relationship with the Seven Gorge Countryside Trust. Um, the Ironbridge Gorge is a World Heritage Site. We were one of the first to be designated in the UK back in 1986. Um, as such, it's a real cultural landscape um, in that it can't work without all partners coming together with a common goal. Um, Seven Gorge Countryside Trust own a lot of the land along with the museum, so we have um, uh, our um, ownership brushes alongside each other, but we have share a lot of the same ethos. So we work on um, some collaborative projects, learning from each other, volunteer groups, walking trails, that sort of thing, but particularly through the World Heritage Site Steering Group. The Iron Trail is a 3.5 mile circular walk starting from here on the bridge. The route takes in some of the historic features of the areas. We are going to look at some of these as we walk the trail. The Holy Trinity Church is the first major feature on the walk. The churchyard was created by Abraham Darby IV after he converted to Christianity from Quakerism due to disagreements with his extravagant lifestyle. The walk continues from here up the hill towards Telford. The top of the walk brings you out here in Rough Park. With Telford just a few hundred metres that way at the opposite end of Rough Park, the walk is not just suitable for visitors but also the local population. All you need is a sturdy pair of boots or a pair of wellies and you're set to enjoy the wonderful scenery on Telford's doorstep. As you come down from Rough Park down the hill, you end up here on the foundations of an old rotunda. The rotunda was built in the Victorian era and was designed for people to be able to sit and admire the view of the gorge. As you can see, it's a wonderful landscape and you can see right down the Seven Gorge towards the Iron Bridge itself. After coming down from the rotunda, you end up back here at Iron Bridge Town Centre. The town has many facilities including pubs, cafes, hotels and bed and breakfasts. It's a perfect place to come and stay, to do the Iron Trail and visit some of the local museums, or it's a great place to relax for locals after they have completed the Iron Trail. We hope you come and visit the area and complete the trail for yourself. For more information about these and other walks in the area, please visit the Seven Gorge Countryside Trust website. Mm -hmm.